Hello again and welcome to Inside Wyoming Football with Cowboy Head Football Coach Craig Bowl. Well, the Cowboys took to the road for the second time in conference play. They played two of their first three conference games on the road and they came up a winner again. Wyoming now 3-0 and in conference play, 5-2 and overall after a big win in Reno Saturday night against the Nevada Wolfpack. That was, a, uh, I, I don't know, maybe a signature win, a good win for the Cowboys as they continue just to progress and get better with each game. Well, I would characterize it as another step forward in our program. Um, you know, University of Nevada plays particularly well at home. They were 3-0 and at home. They have a long history of playing well at home. Um, you know, for us to take another step forward, anytime you go in conference play and, and beat a good opponent, uh, that's always a you know, another step, I think, is a sign of maturity. There are certainly things we did really well in the game. However, there are some things that we can improve on. But it was a great, great win for the Cowboys. Well, it wasn't it the wire to wire for the Wyoming Cowboys. They grabbed the lead and never looked back, never were caught. They led the entire game in this one. Quite a football game. Why don't we head to Mackey Stadium, Reno, Nevada. Here, Here we, we go. Are. We're getting started in this game. Covered on ESPN2, Brian Hill, that's the man. He had a great night, and you can see from the very start here, our defense comes out with the hard edge. Uh, <clears throat> good pressure on the quarterback, and uh, we were encouraged about the pressure we were able to, to generate uh, early in the game. You know, we did not have Carl Granderson. You can see us come up with a uh, sack there, and then here once again is good pressure, making that quarterback move around, and that was a really good sack. That's Kevin Prosser, and so, Created a, uh, a situation where they were third down and long quite a bit. And then our offense comes back. Here's a nice little fling play uh, back to Brian. And what's so amazing is you got a guy that's close to 220 pounds out running all their secondary. He's got great speed. That put us up 7-0 and and really sent a message that our offense was set, ready to go that night. You can see our defensive guys here uh, coming up with another blitz. They come up with a screen pass. and. Uh, you know, really that was a third down play. Good job by Nevada uh, catching us in a blitz uh, versus the screen. That moved the ball down the field. Their field goal kicker did a great job. Here you can see this was about his range and actually he tipped that crossbar and uh, so took the score to seven to three. Um, our offense is coming back. Here's what Josh Allen can do. Probably just about as good as anybody in the country. Take a play that there's nothing there. You can see he's got excellent speed and good mobility. That was a long yardage situation, and he turned it over and came up with a first down. Great job by Josh Allen right there. And now as we move the ball down the field, you can see the run set up the play action pass. Good protection, throws a bullet to Tanner Gentry. I think that moved Tanner Gentry in our top 10 receiving charts. Deep, deep in the Wolfpack territory, seven to three, way down in the red zone. We've done a good job scoring in the red zone this year. And once again, you can see excellent job by our offensive line. Brian Hill finds a hole, comes up for pay dirt, 14 to three. Uh, big, big move for us right here. Here you can see a good job of blocking those big guys up front, finding a crease for Brian to come in. He surprises the official a little bit with the football. Here, they've got good players too, and this is their backup quarterback. Does a nice job. I thought the receivers caught the ball extremely well. Uh, they're moving down. This is right before the uh, end of the second half. and. Uh, <clears throat> Quarterback does a nice job on a play, which we have. Uh, we missed the tackle right there. This fellow came in and really did an excellent job. I uh, put them on the on the board. It's 14 to 10. However, we never just lulled on on offense. This is a fourth down call. Great great job by Brent Vegan. And once again, it shows the ability of Josh having that uh, uh, ability to run. And then you can see right here, this is a, a really nice job by Brian. Good job of blocking up front and that play worked over and over and over and really I think broke their will. It's one of those old-fashioned run plays that we have in our playbook and here you can see this is all set up once again by the uh, by the run and it's a, a naked bootleg and Josh comes around utilizes his skill. He has a receiver out there but hey if you got the run it's better to go ahead and take the run hit the end zone and that was a really a good good series there. However they came back this was a uh, a good series by Nevada. This is a back shoulder fade. Their receiver here does an excellent job. Quarterback put it right on the money. And once again, uh, a back out of the backfield here. They're moving methodically down the field. While it's frustrating, we don't want to give up a touchdown. And once again, uh, most of the time, this field goal kicker is not going to make that. But nonetheless, they did. Uh, they score and puts it up 21-13 at half. 
we feel good. Here you can see the time of possession is fairly even. However, look at the rushing yards. If you can run the ball, particularly on the road, your chance of winning go way, way up. Well, and here's a team, Nevada, that also likes to run the football. So going in, you said run the ball, stop the run. And at least in the first half here, it was going on. We certainly covers. did. And the other thing was going to be a key factor was turnover margin. Uh, we ended up coming up, squeaking up with one turnover. That really threw everything over the top. Isn't that something? You get that takeaway late in the game, Coach. The Cowboy defense now with 15 takeaways this season. Uh, let's see, 10 all last year? It's right. just been a big turnaround. <clears throat> That's a big, big difference. And what is occurring is, is there's more speed and athleticism. Plus, if you stop the run, you make them throw it. And usually three things happen when you throw, two of them are bad. Yeah. Well, the Cowboys up by eight at halftime. Stay with us, come back, and we'll take a look at the second half highlights right after this timeout. in history, rivalry, and competition. There is a force in the West. We call it the Mountain West. The Mountain West, champions in life. Inside Wyoming Football with Craig Bowl is brought to you by Nissan, Komatsu, University of Wyoming Outreach School, and Wyoming Relay. Welcome back to Inside Wyoming Football with Cowboy Head Football Coach Craig Bull. We're broadcasting from the beautiful Marion H. Rochelle Gateway Center here. The Cowboys' uh, big, big uh, first half, and of course the second half would uh, provide plenty mm -hmm. of excitement for this uh, for this Cowboy team. But boy, never you never let them catch you, Coach. No, we didn't. Uh, but you need to credit Nevada too. There's a lot of resolve and fight in that football team. They didn't quit. But uh, football teams change during the course of a game, particularly in the second half. I thought our guys came out with a hard edge. And, uh, you know, Brian was really in a, a zone, as you would say. And I thought our offensive line did a great job blocking. What a great team win for the Cowboys. Well, it sure was. Cowboys led by eight yep. at halftime. They would come out in the second half. They would have the football first. Good things are going to happen here. Let's take a look at the second half. Back to Mackey Stadium, Coach. Well, we went ahead and uh, deferred, so we got the ball first in the second half. Here's Austin Conway on the jet sweep. Does a nice job, breaks one tackle, and it comes up with a first down. He's been a great weapon for us to use. And here you can see we use him as a decoy. Now Josh steps up into the pocket, throws a dart to Tanner. Uh, once again, all that play action really stresses a defensive secondary in particular. They move the ball down the field, and here's a great play that Coach Vegan has dialed up. Many people don't remember Austin Conway was a quarterback in high school, so we utilize his skill set of throwing the football. Uh, we've been working on that play many weeks in practice. Josh did a great job there, and boy, that was just a huge momentum swing for us to come up with a touchdown like that. But once again, Nevada, those guys are going to continue to fight. This quarterback uh, is a good player, and uh, he continues to move the ball down the field. Our defensive guys are swarming, but uh, Nevada's got a never-say-die attitude, and here you can see their running back. I believe this is their all-conference running back coming up with a touchdown, and uh, tightens the score up. It was like we'd get two scores up, and they'd come back, so the, the game was always uh, close. I guess it was good for TV ratings. Uh, here's a great job of, of, once again, that connection between Josh Allen and Tanner Gentry is certainly productive. Uh, Josh comes back here uh, and hands the ball off to Brian. A nice job of coming in and out, long touchdown. And once again, that puts us up by two possessions and our offense is gonna continue to grind away and put points on the board. However, Nevada comes back. Uh, they do a great job hitting an open receiver. That was a busted coverage. That was, once again, late in the game here now, Titans that score up, so we got to keep on fighting here. In the fourth quarter, they come back. 
Uh, a nice job of uh, blocking by them up front. Our guys, we're not giving up big plays, but we're giving up chunks, which we've got to eliminate this next week. And the quarterback does a nice job with a uh, wheel route out of the backfield to their back. Now the defense tightens up here and forces them into a field goal attempt. It was wide to the left. That was a huge, huge uh, defensive stand because Nevada used up a lot of clock there and got no points. Our offense comes back here once again in a, a pro formation. Uh, Brian does a great job here. Good job of blocking, leading out front. You can see his speed. Now we're across midfield and he's just picking up chunks of yardage uh, play after play. Uh, Josh comes back here and once again this, is a gr this may be one of the most phenomenal runs that I've seen this year. Super job by Tanner, but once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is cowboy tough football uh, to a T, and uh, that's our brand right there, Dave. And Brian's really uh, taken uh, great ownership of that. Here, Josh Allen shows his legs. Good job blocking up front. This one pretty much, I thought, iced the game. Uh, you know, you looked at the time and how much time they have left. But once again, Nevada's staying in the fight. They come back, and uh, <clears throat> they get a touchdown here and uh, the score tightens up. And the only thing they could do now, they're down by eight, was go for an onside kick. Uh, here you see them score a touchdown, which was really, that was their lucky night. The ball jumped up in the air and came right back to the guy, but they're down by eight. So they're gonna go with an onside kick. Uh, we line up, we got our hands team out here and uh, credit Nevada, boy, that kicker hit a, hit, that's kind of like a, a, a hot ball going right to the shortstop here. And uh, we fumbled the football. Uh, they came up with it. It was a huge play on their part. But lo and behold, the Cowboy defense comes back out with poise and composure. This is Logan Wilson, a home state boy from Natrona County, does a super job here uh, coming up with a pick and also does a great job being coached. He goes down with the football because now uh, game is over. Here you can see a great uh, shot of him coming back. The quarterback's really kind of telegraphing the football. Logan does a great job breaking on the ball, throws it right to him, down, and Cowboys win. Game, set, match. Yeah, victory formation. After that, Cowboys oh, win a big one. This was, a, uh, as it turned out in the second half, a tight game. They made it a little dicey when they got the uh, onside kick. But then <laughs> yeah. that takeaway, the lone takeaway in the game, right. came at a very opportune time. During the course of the game, I kept on saying, we're going to get a takeaway. We're going to get a takeaway. And the ball would go on the ground somehow. They get it. Uh, what an uh, opportunistic time to come up with a takeaway by Logan right there. Yeah, and coach, over 400 yards rushing. Yep. That's phenomenal. Uh, Brian Hill, I think just 13 yards from the right. all-time greatest single game. 289 yards rushing for Brian. Well, it's a collective effort. Uh, yeah. You know, our offensive line and receivers are doing a good job, but make no mistake, Brian is a special gifted player. So much so right now, he's second in the country in rushing. As a matter of fact, our conference has the two top rushers in the country. Brian's chasing, and uh, uh, he's, a, he's a man that's possessed right now. Uh, you know what? It sets up for a great matchup as we come down the stretch. Isn't it phenomenal? We're late in the season playing meaningful games for Cowboy football. I'll say, big time meaningful games. Like the next one coming up is going to be huge. That was a big win for the Cowboys. You stay with us. We have more to come on Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bowl. We're back right after this timeout. If keeping your work site on time, on budget, and onto the next job is keeping you up at night, you need to wake up to Komatsu. Our machines are designed for production, uptime, and savings. We are more than just iron. We are giving you a technology to make more material and less passes. Start sooner, finish faster, and burn less fuel. We are solving problems before you had them. So stop doing what you've always done. The only thing that's going to keep you up at night is wondering why you didn't do it sooner. Discover the job site of your future. Komatsu. The 2016 Nissan Altima. An IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. With forward emergency braking that could stop for you. Get to your local Nissan store today. Take on sudden stops. Get to Nissan, a proud partner of the Wyoming Cowboys. This cowboy is a senior captain. In fact, nominated uh, for the second year in a row, named captain 
of the Cowboys. He is kind of the captain of that defense, too. This resurgent Cowboy defense led by that middle linebacker. He hails from Texarkana, Texas. Our own Kevin McKinney had a chance to sit down and visit with Lucas Waka. Lucas, you have the unique perspective of being with this program when it was struggling. And now you have a big game, one of the bigger games Wyoming's had in quite a while. That has to be a really a special feeling. Yeah, you know, it is good uh, being here when we were at our lowest and uh, being able to see this team grow as a team and uh, seeing how well we're doing right now is uh, it was an awesome feeling and watching these young guys grow up and as myself grow up into a different person is, is pretty, pretty remarkable as a, a leader on the team. When, if there was a when, could you see this turning and did you have an idea that Cowboys were going to be this good? Uh, you know, last year I saw sparks of it. You know, we saw uh, different games, uh, how well this team could play and how well uh, our young guys were and, and even our old guys, how old uh, or how well we were. And, you know, this offseason we made a made a big, big statement about how we are going to change as a team and how, how hard we are going to work. And, you know, you just see different things changing around here. And uh, with Coach Bowl, he's changed a lot of uh, different things and he's made a bunch of progress in this uh, program and you know it's it's great like I said it's great uh, coming up through here and uh, being able to see people grow. Of course leadership is always huge in, in any successful endeavor and this is a good group of captains a good group of leaders what do you think your role has been in this emergence? Uh, just trying to leave something back for all these young guys. You know, you have Marcus Epps and uh, Dewey and uh, and Noodles and Rico and I mean, I'm just I can name off so many young players, Logan Wilson and you know, it's just I'm trying to leave something for them, I'm trying to show them the right way and uh, the right path that they need to take. And um, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can to do that to help these guys grow as the individuals and uh, know what Cowboy Tough is and know what being a champion is, which we're striving to be this year. And uh, You know, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's an awesome feeling uh, going out there every day and working with Logan Wilson at linebacker. And, I mean, he's a, great, he's a great kid and DJ May helps us a bunch, helps me a bunch with uh, talking on the field and uh, communicating and, you know, really just Everybody's grown as a defense on that defensive side. Everybody's grown into a leader, and you know, just I, I just couldn't say enough about those guys that I play with on that side. Must be a big game. Your brothers are coming. Yeah, both brothers. You know, I got an oldest brother, and then uh, and then Michael. Uh, they'll be coming up to this game along with my parents, and you know, it will be fun to see see both of them. And uh, my oldest brother's never came to a game before, so. It'll be pretty sweet uh, to have him up here, especially in this atmosphere that we're going to have this week against Boise. Well, that Cowboy Captain Lucas Waka has been, well, he's meant so much to this resurgent Cowboy defense coach. You know, Lucas has been here through coaching changes. He's a fifth-year senior, so he's kind of seen it all and uh, certainly done a great job leading. He's an excellent player. Uh, he uh, helps mentor the younger players and he makes a lot of plays out there on the football field so it's been a pleasure to coach him looking forward to coaching him several more games yeah well he's in a very important position there on that defense and uh, as you said kind of leads by example well, he leads by example but also words and you're right he's really the quarterback of that defense he's in charge of setting a lot of things up and uh, you know he's a key cog in what we got going on right now well, absolutely stay with us we have more to come on inside wyoming football with head coach craig bowl we're back right after this
are challengers. We drive things forward in the classroom, on the field, around the world. Underrated? Yeah. Unimportant? No way. Don't look now, because yeah, we're coming. 12 schools, united in vision, mission, and competition. We're not trying to be famous. We're working to be great. The Mountain West, champions in life. Inside Wyoming Football with Craig Bowl is brought to you by Nissan, Komatsu, University of Wyoming Outreach School, and Wyoming Relay. Well, that Cowboy offensive line, they were roughhousing. They took control up front against Nevada, and it's been a steady progress for that bunch. Their coach, offensive line coach Scott Fuchs, will tell us a little bit about the upcoming foe, Boise State, and about that Cowboy offensive line. Here is Scott Fuchs. Well, you yeah, see a defense that certainly uh, pursues the football, fly around, um, uh, whether it's a defensive front, linebackers, a secondary, uh, very active. They, I mean, they're impressive on film. You know, there's a reason they're undefeated uh, right now coming into this game. So um, definitely a challenge. I'll always say this too, it, it's a work in progress, but games like that, absolutely. Fun to watch, uh, fun to be a part of. And, Having uh, Brian and Sean running as hard as they were, um, <laughs> and Josh for that matter too, um, you know, moving the ball on the ground, it, it's exciting. I know that we need to get better at pass blocking. You know, we, we work a lot of different things in the run game, quite a bit. Um, pass blocking, maybe not as much. So, but I would like to say, you know, where we've been and where we're at now, I mean, it has grown quite a bit. I, I'd like to do a lot better in just straight drop back pass blocking right now. So many bright spots on this Cowboy team, but that offensive line might be one of the brightest, Coach. Well, there's no doubt. You know, we did a great job protecting Josh uh, yesterday, and uh, certainly our rushing yardage, you've got to attribute a majority of that to our offensive line. Uh, Scott Fuchs has done a great job uh, molding this group, and the, the great news is, is we just lose one guy. And so a lot of young players moving forward. Big game coming up, Coach, Saturday at 5 at War Memorial Stadium. There's no doubt uh, Boise State uh, right now is going to move up in the polls. The game will have national implications. Both of us are undefeated in uh, uh, the Mountain West Conference. Big, big uh, stage set. Really encourage our fans to show up. Come and support these Cowboys. There's a lot on the line. Yeah, I know the Cowboys. I know these young players. They want to play the best, and Boise State has been pretty good in this league for well, a while. There's no doubt Boise State is kind of uh, the cream of the crop, the Cadillac. Uh, but they're coming to our house, and our guys are excited about playing them. Uh, like I said, really encourage our fans to come out and support these guys in the brown and gold. Oh, it's going to be special, Coach. Saturday, 5 o'clock p.m., the kickoff time for the Cowboys and the Boise State Broncos. Come back next time and check out the highlights with us right here on Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bowl. That'll do it for us. For the head coach, I'm Dave Walsh. So long, everybody. Hill's got the first down and more. He's down the far sidelines. Look at the speed. Brian Hill. He'll take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Give it to Hill. Right off of Van Bonnen. He'll run into the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys. Fake it to Hill. Allen's going to run it in untucked. Touchdown, Cowboys. But they'll pitch it. Now back to Conway. He's going to throw to Allen. Wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys. Give it to Hill. He's running right. He's got a blocker in front of him. Makes a cut at the 10, the 5. He's in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Makes the give. Allen's going to keep it, and he goes in. Touchdown, Cowboys.